So for today, we're going to be looking at the six Coyote and its ornament. If you guys don't know, I am finally getting back to the exotic video. So if you guys are interested to see an exotic video, let me know in the comments below which exotic you want to do. And then I'll hopefully get started on it. In the minimum, I'll put it in the list. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Remember to hit the bell notification if you guys want to keep up to date with my current content because I do think my content is worth it. And again, I really appreciate it, all of you. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at what it actually does. Double dodge, gain a second dodge charge. That is literally it. It's nothing too crazy. It's one of the more basic exotics because it just gives you another charge to your dodge. But it is so immensely powerful because I'm going to go through all of the subclasses to show you just how amazing this is. And honestly, I think like three of the subclasses really benefit a lot, uh, specifically Gunslinger and even more to the point acrobats dodge you're going to be able to not only make yourself radiant but other make your friends radiant as well you have two charges of that which is very really helpful because the base cooldown of acrobats dodge is 122 which is crazy you also get double dodge for night stalker and immediately get access to double invis which is also really good uh you also do thread runner which you can do in in snaring slam you get double ensnaring slam that with that or if you want you could use the threaded specter and you get double dodge from that which means double threaded specters which is really really useful and that is really it i mean revenant you could basically do the dodge so that way when you dodge you can actually uh freeze people or not freeze but slow them but i think if i remember correctly if you double dodge around them you actually will freeze them which is interesting and then i think arc strider is like the one where i'm like eh like it's okay i mean you do have lethal current which after dodging your next melee attack has increased lunge range jolts targets and creates a damaging aftershock but it's not as powerful as the other subclasses so again this exotic is one of the best exotics you can run for pretty much a lot of things pve pvp literally this is just one of the best exotics as for how it looks, I think it looks amazing. I whoever designed this, I really, really love it. It gives me that like Japanese like warrior vibe. My only gripe is I don't like the color of the actual kimono, not kimono, uh, whatever it's called. But <clears throat> like, there's a difference in color that you guys will see when we get to shaders. But the other thing, I wish that this actually retained the other half of the of the kimono. So that way it could actually have like the sleeve still there and then it like is hanging from the side instead of it's just kind of ripped off, which is kind of unfortunate. Other than that, I really don't have a problem with this. The only other thing I could say, and let's just get into shadering so you guys can actually see it, is the fact that there's like a yellow on the actual plate that doesn't change color, which is very unfortunate because <clears throat> I don't want that yellow. Uh, yellow is a pretty terrible color for it to be like, no, this one doesn't change color ever. So that's really unfortunate. My favorite shader with this is any shader that combines the main kimono into one color. So as you guys can see from <clears throat> as you guys can see from ancient wisdom, you guys will see that there is a d difference in that color. And that's the thing I really don't like. So for me, you're going to be going for Echoed Anger. Echoed Anger is actually the shader that I usually go for. Uh, the six coyote abyssinian gold's also pretty cool that being said i'm just again that brown plate i'm not the biggest fan of that and cryptic insignia unfortunately has the discoloration there so you definitely have to be careful of what you want to do with this but it isn't that hard to find shaders that just combines into one whole color that being said if it doesn't bother you then you I mean it, it gives you more freedom to do whatever you want but it really does bug me as for the example set, this is like one of my favorite example sets that I've made just because, or not example sets, but just this, this is one of my favorite sets that I've made in just in general because it really lends itself to that whole Japanese vibe. For the helmet, Iron Foreigner Mask. For the arms, Iron Simiki Grips. For the boots, Iron Fellowship Strides. And then for the cloak, Legatus Cloak. For the shadering, this is very important. Everything echoed anger except Cryptic Insignia because... The Iron Forerunner unfortunately takes the off colors, so it would actually be red, and I didn't want red in there because, uh, like, a lot of it is white. So I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna try to get white." And thankfully, Cryptic Insignia doesn't have the off color of that blue, which means that the helmet is actually pure white, which is exactly what I wanted. So 
overall this is like legitimately one of my favorite sets that i've made you can switch out the iron fellowship strides for a very specific boot um i'll just show you guys right here since i have destiny 2 on and oh yeah i don't have i don't have that set available hold on let me see i'll, I'll explain what i mean by that mm -mm. over 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 here so you can definitely use this one and it's gonna look really really cool like almost like a ninja but i decided to go for the iron fellowship strides just because for me that's probably the best ones for me personally but that's just being me let me know what you guys think as for the ornament it's called valhund and this one is super cool obviously it is a viking themed set which is really cool considering the first one is very japanese vibe and then we go to a viking set which is super dope as for how it shaders i actually don't think it shaders terribly my only gripe about it is the fact that i don't i don't know if I'm pretty sure the fur actually takes off colors. I could be wrong about that, but basically what I mean, like the whole main negative about this is the fact that when you combine it with other fur pieces, you're going to notice that they usually taken off colors. So, or different colors, which is very annoying. So I really hope one day Bungie gives us the option to, just to take the shader and apply the sh colors wherever we want. That'd be a really cool idea. Unfortunately, I don't think it's ever going to happen, but yeah uh for shadering i think a lot of them are really really cool but you guys will see in the example set that i had to i had to actually shader the chest piece a different color because i i'll explain it when we get there but for shadering like i said um i don't see anything really negative um everything changes color thankfully even the rope which is really really good and yeah i think the only thing that you're going to be fighting is the fur and that is really it as for the example set, it is right here. So we're going to be using iron to steal for everything but the chest piece. The chest piece is going to be using Gambit Jade Stone specifically because iron to steal has an off color that you can actually see in the boots in the ropes. Uh, that off color is actually on the fur, which is very unfortunate, which is why I switched out the Gambit Jade Stone, which is not a problem because it still looks really, really good. For the helmet, iron companion mask. For the arms, Canis Luna Grips for the boots iron foreigner strides and then for the cloak we're gonna be using mantle of effort deep so this one is really really cool very much iron banner themed i mean the other one was as well but just more into that japanese vibe but this one is really really cool the only thing i would switch out would be the canis luna grips if you were playing iron banner so that way you can have a full set of iron banner gear that's what i usually do when iron banner comes out i usually just switch out the arms for something else or i use the japanese themed one and then just use that instead because almost all of it is iron banner themed except the cloak so i don't know which one is my favorite because like this one's for me is like iron lord slash viking themed and the other one's japanese themed and i i like both of those so it's one of those like i pick your poison which one do you like the best let me know in the comments below that is pretty much it again if you guys want to see your own exotic video let me know in the comments below definitely get started on it and like i've been saying i really want to start working on the legendary armor so <clears throat> what i will be doing is two videos uh we're going to be reviewing an armor set like an old armor set specifically i can actually show you real quick so let me see um let's go to armor real quick so let's say for example the iron the cinder pinion um uh, this one i'm gonna review in a more overall video because it's basically gonna talk about what joe blackburn spoke about where people weren't using the playlist armor which is why they stopped doing it and i want to actually go into it and be like well did they use it because it was trash because that is very much the case for a lot of the playlist armor but let's say for example the the cinder pinion uh i want to do the whole thing where i like show you the armor rotating maybe some shaders and then show you where to get it if you can get it and then from there it'll be like a catalog of like old armor so that way if you're interested to see how it looks on all the classes you can just click on my channel type in the name and then you'll find it because we don't have that in destiny 2 unfortunately we don't have like i can look at the armor individually i can definitely do that but i can't like click right here to see all of the armor on male or female which is very unfortunate i won't be doing that because that takes so much time and unfortunate well actually well it depends because i um bungie did tell us that we're going to be able to change our our characters like like customization i don't know if that in that if that goes into like our sex because if the genders can change then i could probably do that easily because then 
I could do the get the footage for the males and then get the footage for the females. The only unfortunate part is I would have to do that three times for the Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks. So we'll see. I mean, if that happens, I'll do it just because I know people. For me personally, I would like to see both of them. But hopefully Bungie's, Bungie gives us that option so that way we can do that. But that's pretty much it what I want to do with the playlist. Or not playlist, but the armor sets. Go through all of the armors in the game, like one by one, and basically do that. I'm going to like not do these though because these are just literally the same set, just different. Uh, different colors but like when it comes to like this this is from io this is from uh edz like this armor is not even in the game anymore technically even though i think uh you can only get it through reserve if i remember correctly no it actually might be in the game now either way there's some armor sets that we don't even have in the game anymore so we'll I, i'm gonna try my best to do all of the armor that's currently available to me so yeah let me know what you guys think about that again i appreciate you guys coming up to this point uh, again if you guys want to see any exotic showcase in my channel let me know in the comments below and i'll either put it on the list or let you know if i've already done it if you want to do me a favor and check out all of the class specific uh, playlists that i have i have a hunter titan and warlock playlist and there i usually have not only the example sets that i make for each of the armor sets that we get in the season but i also have the exotic videos in there as well so make sure you check those if you want to see an exotic just to do me a favor but if not don't don't be shy just let me know what exotic you want me to do and i'll let you know if i've done it or not so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later